Hello, welcome back to Scaffold Design for Scaffolders. I'm Alejandro Garcia and I'm going to solve the exercises I gave you at the end of lesson 4. If you haven't seen lesson 4, please go back, watch it and try the exercises yourself and then come back. We are going to use always the aesthetics equations and in 2D because we are going to take always a section of the scaffold to solve the structure. So, the addition of horizontal loads equals zero, the addition of vertical loads equals zero, and the summation of all moments on a point of reference equals zero. Okay? The same for a bridge, or the same for a temporary roof. We just cut the scaffold and calculate the loads on that section of a scaffold. Now, first exercise, we have a, a bridge that we can say it's a lifting frame with self-weight and a 20 km point load, or 2 ton. Always put your reactions. We have a roller on the left, that will be 1, and then we have a pin support on the right, that's going to be 2. So, 3 is a static structure, so we have also three equations of statics, statics, we can solve it directly. And the science criteria. Let's go from top to bottom. We have a 3 km horizontal load, so let's see, we have 3 km going to the right, positive, and then we have minus hb equals 0, therefore hb equals 3 km. That's the first. Now, we have vertical loads. Ra going up, Rb going up, and then we have line load going down, minus 2 km per meter times 8 meters, and we have 20 km going down, equals zero. And then lastly, moments. We can take moments or around point A, to, just for a change. So, we have the line load. The moment is going to rotate clockwise, negative. Sorry. Minus 2 km per meter times 8 meters times half, 4 meters. Then we have 20 km, it's also going to rotate clockwise. So, sorry, this is negative. And now 20 km times 6 meters. And lastly we have Rb rotating anti-clockwise, positive. Rb times 8 meters. Zero. Okay, so two equations, two unknowns, let's get the results. Down here on the moments we already have Rb on its own. So, if we move the negatives to the other side of the equal sign, they will become positive. So, we are going to have 8 times Rb equals 2 times 8, 16, times 4, 64, 64 kilo newton meter plus 120 Therefore, Rb equals 1 
84 divided by 8 meters. And that's equal to 223 kilonewton. Now let's get our A. We have our A. equals uh, 36 minus rp <clears throat> and that's 13 kilonewton that's it we are getting all the results with a positive sign, that means that the arrows I have drawn at the start are pointing in the correct direction. Now, second exercise. This is a scaffold bridge. Okay, six meter span, very typical on a bridge, and three pilots 10 km, 9 km, and 9 km. If you remember last week, we also had a structure that was hyperstatic, like, like this one. So we have two reactions on each side, but since there are no horizontal loads, it doesn't matter because we are concerned only with the moments and the vertical reactions. So let's solve it. One. Horizontal loads doesn't matter. I mean, we have H E equal H B. Now vertical. R A plus R B minus ten K N minus nine K N minus nine K N minus the self weight of the beam. times 6 meters and that's equal 0 moments on B so if we start with RA that's going to be positive moment or sorry a clockwise moment therefore negative moment RA times 6 meter and now we have anti-clockwise for the rest so they are going to be positive 10 km uh, times sorry uh, is 5 plus 9 km times 3 plus 9 km times 1.5 and then we have also the self weight I continue down uh, 0.2 kN per meter 6 meters times half 3 meters equals 0 so in this long equation we have the result for RA so let's see we have if we move it to the other side RA times 6 meter, 6 meters equals 10 times 5 50 plus 27 77 plus 13.5 plus 90.5 plus 0 0.2 times 18 so 19.5 times let me remember 94.1 then RA equals 94.1 
94.16 meter meter with meter out and that's in total 15.68 kilonewton now let's get rp rb is going to be equal to minus RA minus 15.68 Newton and then everything else with the plus sign so we have 10, 9, 19, 28 and 1.2 so uh, the assay 28, 1.2 13.52 Okay, that's done. Last one. We have the same cantilever as last week, but with half the tailback, 3 meters. Let's see how it affects the reactions on the cantilever. As last week, it's hyperstatic because we have four reactions and only three equations, but we don't have any horizontal load, so we don't care about the value of the horizontal reactions. I'm going to solve directly the vertical loads. RA is going up positive plus RV, and then we have minus 9 kn minus 8 kn equal 0 and now taking moments on b r a times 3 meters and it's going clockwise, therefore negative. And now we have 9 kn times 1 going clockwise again, negative. And we have 8 kn, negative 2 meters. So if I leave Ra on one side and everything else on the other, equals minus 9, minus 16. Therefore, our A equals minus 25 km meter divided by 3 meters. And that's minus 8.5. 33 kn. <clears throat> so we are having uplift. Now RP. RP on one side, everything else on the other side. So 9, 8, that's 17. And RA going negative. So it's minus minus 8.33 kn minus times minus becomes positive so we have 17 plus 8.33 so that's 25.33 kn so has it increased or not from last week last week we had on the example, this was 6 meters, this was 2 meters, and here we had 
uh, 4.17 and the full crumb load was 21.17. So by reducing 3 meters the tailback, the full crumb load has increased 4 km and the uplift has doubled. Okay? So always keep this in mind. The shorter the tailback, the higher the full curve load. And the opposite. The more the longer the tailback, the, sm the smaller full curve load you will have. Obviously you cannot get a full curve load with less than the loads on the cantilever. Okay, so an absolute minimum must be 17 km in this case. So that's all for today. I hope you had all the answers correct. If you didn't, please just try again and let me know if you have any issues and I will be happy to help. Thank you very much for watching. Goodbye.